Hello and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra and today I've got an unboxing video for you. Um, I was sent this brake pad, lithium battery brake pad um, <clears throat> by one of my wonderful vendors and um, I'll definitely drop a link in the description there for you so you can see exactly where to get one for yourself. Um, so this is I would say comparable to like the Cricut Bright Pad or any of the other A4 um, Bright Pads, but let's unbox it and see what's inside. So on the box, you've got exactly what it is. Um, I'm assuming this means that there's different colors of it. Um, shows you all of the fun details. So it's got measurements. It's got like a ruler on each side, five level brightness. It's very thin, soft light, um, eye protection. And then it's got a charging cable available. And on the back side, oh, yep, see, there's the colors available. White, black, blue, or pink. That's kind of nifty. Um, so basically what this is, is you can do like drawing. Um, obviously you can use it for drawing, but for the purposes I'm gonna be using it for is for my Cricut. Sorry, I had to turn my ring light down. It's a super bright package apparently, so the light. <laughs> You can see all of it on there, whatever. But you get the point. Um, shows you exactly what you're looking at and how to use it. If you're using it for artwork, copy paper, artwork, LED bright pad, that's if you want to trace the things. <laughs> I want to weed the things and I want the weeding of the things to be easier. So that's what I'm gonna use this for. All right, I open the box, pretty easy to open. Is that what we do on these unboxing videos? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, but it's actually in here pretty nicely. And uh, you can see that it's like in this clear tray so that it's not moving around in the box and protected very well without using styrofoam. Saran so wrap and styrofoam, I don't do them. All right, they're messy and just that annoying. So this has like, like I said, clear tray, pretty unique. And it's wrapped up pretty nicely. Um, oh, that's pretty neat. We'll get to the bright pad in just a second. Comes with a charging cable, like it stated. It does look like it's just your, this goes into the bright pad itself and it's a USB connector. So you could just plug it into any of those USB blocks. But this is what I was not expecting, which is pretty sweet. pencil. Looks like a charcoal pencil too. An eraser. A sharpener. And I don't know what these other two little thingies are. I was looking on the box to see if it showed what they are, but I have no idea. If anyone knows what these little doohickeys are, please let me know. Drop a comment. Send me an email. I figured it out. Just kidding. They're magnets. That's so cute. The last bright pad that I had, I actually broke in the move. So I'm glad that I got this. Um, but it had like these cute little clear magnets, but these look like little chess pieces or like the sorry game board <laughs> pieces. But these are to um, pin your artwork or image onto the uh, bright pad. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use these in just a minute, but I was not expecting the pencil and stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Um, charcoal pencil at that. I'll take it. All right, moving on. Um, also this one looks to be a lot more sturdy than my last one. So maybe I won't break it. <laughs> Alrighty, so you've got the instructions on how to use it. I mean, it's kind of common sense. You shouldn't really need instructions on how to use it, but you never know. Um, there is a protective film on it, and I don't even know if it has a charge. Oh, it does. It does. And I will say that I like this one much better already. Um, my other one that I did have had a very glossy... Um, back side so clear film like a very very glossy like this one has a little bit 
but not as much. So it was very distracting when I was weeding my um, images. So you have five different levels of brightness. If it was dark outside, I'd show you that, but we're gonna see if I turn this off, if you can see this a little better. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> it's as bright as it goes. So it's off, one, two, three, four, and five. It's pretty sweet, shall I say? Hmm. I do like it. Let me turn my light back on. I do like the five different levels because for like certain vinyls, it is harder to see. So you need to go brighter or darker. I can tell you that much from experience, especially with like clear or white vinyl, you need it to be brighter. For darker vinyl, you need it to be, I said that backwards, for white or clear, you need it to be a little bit more dim. And for darker vinyl, you need it to be brighter because you need to be able to see through it. <clears throat> Perfect example coming up in just a second. Um, I do have a piece of permanent vinyl that I'm going to weed for you on this so that you can see exactly how it works and how well it works. So hang tight. We're going to move on over to the table because weeding like this just does not seem fun. Uno momento. Okay, so we've got my image, we've got the bright pad, and the little magnet thingies. So, just gonna take these guys. Um, and, oh, wait. Unfortunately, the little magnet guys aren't very strong um, on this, at least. Okay. It works. So as you can see here, you kind of can't really see through it very well um, for level one. And this is a glitter um, permanent vinyl from Heat Transfer Warehouse. It's their Walla Cut brand. Um, that's level three. You still kind of can't really see through it. Um, we're gonna ditch the magnets a little bit there. Um, but you can see that you're kind of getting a little better at seeing it. And then that's as bright as it goes. Um, this vinyl might be a little too dark for it to see, but on my end, I can see where I need to weed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. For some of it, not all, I won't make you wait through all of it. That's just mean. Whoops. The backing of this um, permanent vinyl is very slippery, so it makes it kind of hard to weed sometimes. You just have to also be very careful with um, this. I, I have learned that if you go through the backing and onto this, it will scratch it. So just be very cautious of that. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, they're pretty durable, um, especially this one. It seems a lot more durable than my last one. So that's a plus. Right. Though I don't plan on moving again anytime soon. <clears throat> All right, and then we're gonna go. This does make weeding these tiny little pieces way easier in my opinion. Um, if you've ever done any smaller letters or anything of the sorts, you will appreciate this thing um, for real. Because <clears throat> getting like these little tiny intricate details without having something to see through um, makes it really difficult. The other thing that I like to do is um, I like to use like a baby powder or like a cornstarch or something um, and just kind of lightly cover my decal because then that will help pop it as well as the backing. Um, so that's really, I mean... It does make life a little easier, even if you're not an artist and you're not drawing. I consider myself an artist just in a different way. <laughs> um, I do create art, just not through drawing or painting. So, kind of speaking for the versatility of this product. And again, it's here. This is what you would look for um, on the link that I'm gonna send you. It does come available in white, black, blue, or pink. And it's really great for artists and it can be used for the Cricut as well. Or Silhouette or whatever you use. I do have both. I just haven't unpacked my Silhouette just yet. So I'm going to put you back up. Um, let's 
see if you can maybe see it a little better. I know the camera doesn't really do it justice here, but maybe if I do this, hold on one second, because you should be able to. <clears throat> So maybe this will give you a really good idea of how it works. There we go. Now you can definitely see that, huh? <laughs> All right, so that goes for the paper transparency. Now this is a thicker sheet of paper. This is a piece of sublimation paper, so it's not copy paper. It's a bit thicker. Um, so there you go. Okay, I'm gonna bring you back up to me now. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna post that link in the description for you. Um, if you wanna get yourself one, please do feel free to order one. They do also um, give you a discount a little bit for um, going through my channel. So thanks for supporting me and their small business. I do appreciate all of the help that I can get. Um, make sure that you like, subscribe, drop me a comment. If you like my little sorry piece comparison, let me know. <laughs> All right. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, happy crafting.